when the husband is angry or a husband and wife are having discord, uh, can a woman still pray the nawafil uh, or she should only pray the fard and she cannot pray the nawafil and fast nafila, voluntary fasting as long as the husband is upset with her. We need to blow up this concept of if the husband is upset then my worship is not accepted because it all depends on whose error is it. So there are a lot of sisters in the marriage counseling, I feel that she's living with a monster. She's super nice and he's super evil. So if he's upset, uh, go to hell. You know, it's his fault. And in the UK, sometimes in the marriage counseling, when I meet with the sister and she keeps complaining, I assume that she's kind of exaggerating. Then when it is the husband's turn, I say, is that right? He says, I acknowledge all what she says. I know I'm really bad. I'm terrible. I'm trying to quit. I'm but, you know, but she's a nice person. And I know she will forgive me. So he admits all what she said. And she's very eloquent. She's very quiet. She's trying to even to conceal. She doesn't want to speak all the way. So now if the husband is upset with her, uh, would the angels curse her? Would uh, her prayer not be accepted? Of course not. We're talking about when it is her fault, then she must take the initiative and ask him to pardon her and Allah will be pleased with her. But as far as the prayer, whether who's upset and who's not upset, the prayer is accepted. Faridah, mandatory prayers, mandatory fasting, or even voluntary. As a matter of fact, one of the best means of soothing down things and calming down things and improving your relationship with your spouse will be through, you know, offering some prayers. And uh, with regards to the voluntary fasting, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the hadith in general, a woman whose husband is present, he is not out of town. Before fasting, a voluntary fasting, uh, you need to inform him. Or if you guys are on the same page and he understands that Mondays and Thursday you're fasting, he doesn't mind. He gives you like a, 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 an open uh, permission. He, he likes it. Alhamdulillah, shukla. But we're talking about a couple. The husband is young, the woman is young, they're recently married. Mashallah, the sister is fasting every other day. She's got very strong iman, but the guy is very weak. He's a doctor, he goes to the hospital, a lot of nurses falling around, or a lot of colleagues, a lot of patients female and he's weak I don't blame him so he comes home and he says honey and he's trying to kiss her hug her and some folk play she said oh wait, 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 wait a minute I'm fasting uh, okay I'm going back to the hospital or I'm going back to the clinic now the Prophet وسلم, he's not giving the man a control like he's having a chain around your neck but he is looking at the bigger picture to maintain the welfare of the entire community, not only one person. Your fasting is a voluntary fasting. You know, if, if, I, if, I, if I receive a guest, I'm a man, if I receive a guest, uh, and it's voluntary fasting, break your fast in order to honor your guest and eat with him, right? Unless if he says it's okay. If you're married, if you're a married woman, if you're a man and you're married, and your wife invites you for bed, and this is a voluntary fasting, break your fast and satisfy her wish and her desire. This is what I'm trying to convey.